Hello and welcome to this special Before It Airs on TV digital edition of the Who's Winning 2024 opinion poll in partnership with D-Dynamics here on NewsX. I'm Rishabh Gulati. We're getting you all the numbers of the predictions of who's winning the general elections this time around. We're going to do them state by state and then we're going to have a look at the national picture. Starting off with Jammu and Kashmir, of the five seats, the BJP expected to take two primarily from Jammu, the national conference three from the state. So a split, but the BJP racks up two. Remember their target is 270 plus, then of course 400 plus, which they claim two of them uh, are coming from Jammu and Kashmir. Let's have a look at the next state as we track the northern re region of Ladakh, which is now, remember, its own entity as a union territory. The BJP holds this seat. The prediction is that they will retain this seat in the 2024 general election and the Congress and the India Alliance likely to lose out. Let's have a look at the next state as we track the northern region. The national capital, Delhi, seven out of seven went to the BJP last time around. This time, the D-Dynamics poll says six for the BJP, one for the Aam Aadmi Party. Remember, these two are in alliance this time around, four by three. They are not competing against each other. So one, the Aam Aadmi Party might be able to sneak in from Delhi, which is his bastion. Let's have a look at the next major state in North India. Can't get bigger than this. Uttar Pradesh, 80 seats. The largest population, the largest number of people returned to the Lok Sabha. The BJP as a unitary entity has swept the state two times. This time also the D-Dynamics poll says 73 out of the 80 are going to be in the BJP's kitty directly. The RLD, which is an alliance with the BJP, expected to add a further two. So the alliance takes uh, 75 here. The Apanadal also, which has been in alliance with the NDA in the past, is expected to take either one or two seats. So 73, 75, 77. The Samajwadi Party, just three. The Congress, zero. And the BSP, which seems to be missing an action this time, also expected to get zero. So a sweep is being predicted for the BJP in UP once again, a major state where they have to do well. Let's have a look at the next state in North India as we track this development. In Madhya Pradesh, in the center, it is a straightforward contest between the BJP and the Congress. The BJP has already held on to the most number of sweet seats in Madhya Pradesh in 2019. And once again, a near sweep is predicted for the BJP in Madhya Pradesh at whose state level they have just regained power. The Congress expected to get only one seat. I don't know. If this is going to be Nakulnath or somebody else, we will find out. But that's what the poll prediction says in Madhya Pradesh. Let's have a look at the next state as we track this region by region in Chhattisgarh, where the government has just flipped from the Congress to the BJP. The BJP expected once again to near sweep the state with 10 out of the 11 seats going into their kitty. Let's have a look at the next state before we get you a region-wise and overall picture. Haryana. The BJP has held this state several times. This time around, the Congress might get about two seats. So out of the 10 seats in total, eight for the BJP, two here for the Congress. I will do a tabulation as we go to the next state at the very end so you get the overall national picture. Now, Uttarakhand, if you're living in Uttarakhand, well, five out of five is the prediction from the dynamic, Dynamics poll as far as Uttarakhand's Lok Sabha vote is going to go. Let's have a look at the next state on our screens is Punjab, where the BJP has traditionally not had a strong footing. Remember, it is the Congress party that was dominating politics. Currently, it's the Aam Aadmi party dominating politics in Punjab. But have a look at the numbers here. The Congress expected to get five seats. The Aam Aadmi party, another two. The Shiromani Akali Dal used to be an NDA ally, two. The BJP, four. If they come together, this is six. If these people are in a sort of national picture, currently they are not, it's only a Delhi-centric picture, that would be seven. So Punjab, where the BJP has not had a strong showing, four seats. Which of those four seats will have a breakdown as we go across uh, this length and breadth of India? Now let's have a look at the next state on our screens as we are tracking North India, Himachal Pradesh. Four out of four, sweep for the BJP is the prediction from this poll. Remember, the Congress is in government uh, in, in this state. We have, see Vikramaditya taking on people like Kangana Rath uh, in their constituency. Uh, the recent cross-voting has happened in the, Rajya Sabha, in the Rajya Sabha polls, but for the Lok Sabha, it seems to be, as per this survey, the BJP ahead. Let's have a look at the next state, getting us a more picture as we run through, heading into now the northeast of the country, Arunachal Pradesh. There are only two seats. Kiran Rijiju, the union minister, is fighting one of them. Both the seats I expected to be falling into the BJP kitty. So a sweep in Arunachal Pradesh once again. Let's, let's move further into the northeast, into the state that has the most number of seats in the northeast, which is Assam. Nine seats, 
predicted in the BJP kitty, two in the AGP, one for the UPPL, the Congress might win one. Is this going to be Kalia Bohr? Is it going to be Jorhard? Will Gaurav Gugoi have a chance? And the AIUDF, lots of war of words happening between, uh, uh, between Badruddin Ajmal as well as uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma. One seat is predicted for them. So the majority of the seats going towards the BJP, I'm sure Himanta Biswa Sarma will be hoping that all of them go in the, BJ, in the BJP kitty. But nine out of the 14 here into uh, that kitty. Let's have a look at the next state in Northeast India. Looking at Manipur, has seen trouble times. The Congress uh, chief began his uh, Manipur to Mumbai Yatra from that state. In this regard, the Congress is expected to win one of the two seats, the NPF, which is the regional party, expected to win the other. Let's move forward into Meghalaya and Nagaland. Meghalaya on your screens first. The Congress and Conrad Sagma's NPP, two seats, one in Tura, where his sister is contesting from, one for the Congress, one for the NPP, uh, is the prediction from uh, Meghalaya. Let's move on. As we go into Mizoram, uh, the BJP, Congress and the ZPM single seat in the state and the regional party is expected to take that, uh, take, that, uh, take that seat, not the national parties in this case. Now, as we finish off the Northeast, as we hit the next state, trying to get our perspective in from the Northeast and then into the East of India, the NDPP, Nagaland being contested primarily between the Congress and the NDPP, so the zero for the Congress, NDPP, the regional party, expected to take that seat. As we wrap up now the Northeast states, let us go on to the next one into uh, the, uh, after Sikkim into the east of India. Sikkim again one seat, again the SKM, the regional party expected to win that. There are lots of permutations and combinations of who will ally with whom. So this will come into effect in a pre-poll and of course in a post-poll sequence. Tripura, both seats. Uh, uh, which have, of course, uh, the, the state government, the BJP has, has been dominating for some time. The BJP expected to win two out of two in Tripura as well. All right. With that, let's move on from the Northeast. We've covered the Seven Sisters and head back into the West of India in Rajasthan, where the BJP is expected to sweep Rajasthan once again. Remember, the government, state government in Rajasthan has just changed. But look at the figure for the Congress. The prediction is zero. It's the others who are probably going to sneak in one or two seats. The D-Dynamics poll says zero for the Congress, 23 for the BJP. Let's move forward as we go into the West India, into Gujarat, the home state for the Prime Minister of the, uh, of, of the country and the leader of the Bharatiya Janta Party, Narendra Modi, 26 out of 26 for the Bharatiya Janta Party, same as last time, same as the time before, a clean sweep for Gujarat. Many people will say no surprises. Remember, the Aam Admi Party has now become a player in the state, which it wasn't earlier, has eaten up vote share at the state level. But at the Lok Sabha level, it's a straight out fight. And it seems the Congress is likely to get zero here as per this poll prediction. Now, in Goa, once again, just two seats in the state, both in the BJP kitty, pretty much in track with how the politics has, has shaped up. Very complicated politics. A lot of regional players in, in, in Goa as well that make the politics a lot more complex. But the BJP is right now, as per the poll prediction, in the lead in Goa as well. Now, as we go through the west of India, let's head into the big state. Uh, uh, before we head into the big state of Maharashtra, Daman and, uh, the, the, uh, Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Aveli, the two seats, both for the BJP. One each in each of the two. Uh, uh, in e each of the, of the two territories over there. Now, let's go look at, uh, as we tra traverse the course of Western India, Lakshwadweep. It has been a Congress bastion for a long time. The NCP, which is the NCP-SP uh, of the Sharad of the Sharad Pawar League, is likely to win that seat in, in Lakshwadweep this time around. Uh, one single seat, one single member of parliament. The BJP has, has uh, not won that seat yet. This time around, doesn't look like uh, that their bank account will open, electoral account will open in Lakshwadweep either. Now, let's move on to the next state. Uh, and this is the big one in Maharashtra. Very tumultuous politics in Maharashtra over the past five years. And this is where it ends up. The BJP on its own, 16. The Shiv Sena, uh, as represented by uh, Shinde, with seven. The NCP, as represented by Ajit Pawar, one here. The Congress with eight, the other part of the Shiv Sena, UBT nine, and the NCP as it used to be with Sharad Pawar, five. So you are going to put these three together in some sort of an alliance and these three together in some sort of alliance. So you do seven plus the three, 23, 24 go this way, 17 and five, 22 to get this way. So advantage NDA. This is a troubling scenario, of course, if you are supporting the BJP. Some hope, if you are supporting the opposition, that this is a closer contest in Maharashtra than ideally the BJP would like. Let's have a look at the next big state uh, as we track uh, uh, the eastern part of India now. In Bihar, major 
again tumult in the politics. The government has flipped three times in the past five years with this man as chief minister. And have a look at this. This is likely the scenario of the alliance here. So 17 plus 11 plus 5. 17 for the BJP, 11 for Nitish. He'll be wanting this number very, very assiduously. His political future depends on what this number becomes. LJP hoping that every seat they contest, they will win. The HAM, under the former Chief Minister Jitana Maji, hopefully to get one seat. The Congress is hoping to get two, the RJD three, and the others one. So this part of the screen is looking a bit weak. That part is looking stronger. And this is the reason this mathematic adds up and why it was important, at least Nitish uh, and the BJP felt, for them to come together and Chirag Paswan bringing up the rear in that alliance in Bihar. So the majority of the seats are going in that direction as well as per this poll prediction. Let's have a look. Now at the next state on our screens, Jharkhand. BJP takes 12. This man currently facing a lot of ED issues. JMM takes one. The Congress expected, as per this poll prediction, to take not in Jharkhand with the BJP having a near sweep. The others are getting uh, one. So 12 out of 14 in Jharkhand for the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let's have a look at the next state as we traverse now this part of the country. Odisha, very interesting situation. No formal alliance between these two. But many people have argued an informal conversation has always been held where Naveen Patnaik holds sway as he had has for decades uh, at the state. But the Bharatiya Janata Party uh, snaps a few uh, during the Lok Sabha election and this time to 14 and 7, 0 for the Congress. And that total then uh, uh, ends up in advantage of the BJP. This remember technically being a third party not involved in a direct alliance with either of the two. Let's have a look at further down as we now move in. Uh, to the last major state of East India before we head to the south. Bengal, very interesting one, split fight, all right. So technically there is no alliance here in Bengal. So 19 for, the, for Mamta, 1 for Rahul Gandhi, 22 for the BJP under Narendra Modi. They are hoping at the very least to e equal their tally of 2019 and maybe do a couple extra and knock off 22, crucial state. This is going to be a battleground state in the 2024 elections for sure. So watch out for the numbers from Bengal. This is the prediction from this poll. Let's move on to the next state as we now head uh, uh, into, the, uh, uh, into the Bay of Bengal in the Andaman Islands. One single seat, the BJP expected to take that uh, as well. Now, from the Andaman, let's move on to the next state into the last region that we're covering is in Kerala in the south. Now, very interesting. Have a look at this figure. This is going to be opening opening of doors in Kerala. What these two seats will be, we don't yet know at this point of time, but the poll prediction says that the BJP might get two seats in Kerala this time around. The Congress with 11, the LDF, these are the primary two opponents that have been operating in Kerala since independence. The LDF and the UDF under the Congress. 11 for the Congress. Remember the man himself, Rahul Gandhi, is hoping that he is one of the 11 from Vyanad. The UDF, which is now an entity unto itself, Another three. So if you put these together, 14, 4 here, they are not in an alliance. They have been under the UPA, but not currently not fighting together. But the big ticket item for the BJP will be vote share. And if they can get one, maybe two seats from Kerala. Very interesting battle in some constituencies. In Thiruvananthapuram, for example, is Shashi Tharoor versus Rajiv Chandrasekhar. In Tamil Nadu now, going to polls in the first phase, the BJP expected to win four this is going to be a big ticket item for all those who have said BJP Hindi only, Hindi only. It will be a major achievement if they hit the four mark. The DMK, the strongest party in the state right now at 22. They are in a line this time around. So they've done seat sharing. Six for the Congress. Uh, that will be good news for them. This alliance number is what matters for them at 28. The AIA DMK, which is on its own right now, reduced to three. Not a happy situation if you're either, uh, if you're either of the former chief ministers uh, of the AIDMK now currently contesting uh, in this cycle. Let's have a look now at the picture that is emerging in Karnataka. Important state for the BJP. Remember in Karnataka, the patriarch of the BJP, B.S. Yadurappa, who's held sway there for a long period of time, is no longer there. His son is there. Very important. The NDA has lost this state through the Congress very recently. But at the Lok Sabha, a different ball game. They'll be hoping maximum number of seats, but no doubt a battleground state, important state. 22, the poll says for the BJP, 4 for the Congress, 
and the JDS uh, rocks up with a two no formal alliance this time around either. Uh, now we'll have to see what alliance works out here potentially at some point of time uh, in, in terms of uh, electoral mathematics in a post-poll scenario. But if the BJP sweeps, sweeps uh, these seats uh, become uh, into the opposition camp per se. Now, we've had a look at the major states. Let's have a look at Andhra Pradesh now, rounding up the, the, the southern states. The BJP will be hoping to do slightly better than that, but two is what the poll predicts. The YSRCP will be disappointed if the figure is 7. Have a look at this. This is the alliance that exists. The BJP and the TDP. And if Chandra Babu Naidu is expected to get 14, he's back. He's back from the wilderness. And it'll be a big ticket item if he gets 14. The JSP with a couple of seats. So 2 plus 14 is 16. And another 2, 18 potentially for the NDA. With the YSRCP falling behind with 7. Not happy news. Remember, the state elections are yet another ball game. For all you know, it just might be Chandra Babu Naidu returning as Chief Minister. We will find out on the 4th of June. Now, as we've had a tabulation of going through the states one by one, let us put into perspective what is now going on in an overall picture. What is the situation in the regions and what is the situation nationally putting the perspective together for us? Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the end, 543 seats, looking at, uh, at Telangana quickly, 8 for the Congress, just formed a government there. They'll be happy with that. That'll be a strong showing under Rivant Reddy uh, leadership. The BJP with 5, they'll be hoping to give the Congress a neck-to-neck -neck battle. The BRS used to be the TRS with 3. Not in the best of political shape right now. This man expected to re retain his seat in Hyderabad. So the AIMIM brings up the one. He'll be hoping he can snatch one more uh, to, to uh, bolster his numbers in the future Lok Sabha. But this is how Telangana uh, is looking. Advantage Congress, but the BJP uh, potentially a strong show is showing. So you're seeing the BJP on the board. They have been on the board in the past. In the, in the southern states, but definitely emphatically on the board and have a look at the vote share in some of the other constituencies as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we keep moving on to Puducherry, uh, which is, of course, uh, union territory uh, uh, between Andhra and Tamil Nadu, the BJP expected uh, to win that Lok Sabha seat uh, this time as well. Now, we've had a picture. Now, let's put the tabulation together of how this works from North India. In North India, of the total 161 seats going here, not including the others, 139 for the BJP, so North India sweep, nobody I'm sure will be surprised. 22 uh, for the Indi alliance, including the Congress. Zero, of course, for the Congress in UP. Unhappy situation if it pans out to be true. So is the NDA going to dominate North India's 161 seats? The answer in this poll says yes. Now, let's have a look at the next region as we head into the east and northeast. The northeast of India. Of the seats available, the maximum number, of course, being in Assam, the NDA expected to cobble together 19, 4 for the India Alliance, the ZPM and SKM with one each, bringing up uh, the, the flag for the regional parties. But the NDA pretty much expected to do really well, if not have two-thirds of the seats uh, from the Northeast. Another region, they're doing really, really, really well. No surprises if you've been tracking them in the recent past. Now, from the Northeast, let us head on to the West of India and then the East of India. The West first. We've done a tabulation, 104 seats in all the states, 77 for the NDA, 23 for the India Alliance, and 4 for the others. So the west of India, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Gujarat of course is sweet, but Maharashtra, things are a little bit more difficult. The NDA still gets two-thirds of the seats from the west of India as well. Now from the west, let us head to the east of India, where the NDA of a total of 118 seats expected to get 81, India Alliance with 8, the Biju Janta Dal coming up with 9, and the big chunk is the TMC going to be one of the largest parties once again if they indeed end up with around or that 1920 seat mark. Now, south of India, uh, again a region. Now, let's see how this pans out. This includes, of course, Karnataka, Kerala, uh, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Andhra and Telangana. Look at this. South of India has become neck to neck potentially between the NDA. Of course, this is not just the BJP. This would include people like Chandra Babu Naidu bolstering the numbers. But this is also not just the Congress. This is the India Alliance. 54-58, the YSRCP, not an alliance with anyone, with seven and a few others rounding up the total. Now, let's have a look at the tabulation of the big ticket item that actually matters. Ladies and gentlemen, the target for the Bharatiya Janata Party, for the alliance, they themselves say is 400. In the tabulation we've just done as per the D-Dynamics poll, 383 is where the NDA is expected to stand. 
of which the BJP alone at 320, 325, an improvement on last time, the alliance making a huge improvement, the Indy alliance falling even further behind and the others, this includes a lot of the regional parties bringing up 51. So this survey with a halfway mark at 272 is telling you that the BJP will have 60 plus surplus seats to form a government on their own along with their allies. They are going to be near that 400 mark. A lot of, of course, water needs to go under the bridge, but this is where things stand as we speak.